Welcome back. This is the touchline and a lot to talk about, especially when it comes to matters rugby. And I'm pleased to have Kikechi Kombo, who is also the Combras coach, form, uh, former board member Kenya Rugby Union, and also teacher's trainer at Togoto Teachers Training School. So a lot to talk about, Mwalimu. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, thank the, you. Thank yes. you. Thank and you. What a you again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. What a better way to begin than talk about the Kenya Cup, the culmination of the 15th season league, the domestic league. Yeah. 2023-2024 yeah, season mm. uh, came to an end last weekend at mm -hmm. Kakamega Buri. Mm -hmm. uh, that's in the forest. They, some say they call it forest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, Cabras did well. I think they retained for the third time. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a big match. And uh, Carlos had, I think Carlos Katua, the South African born, is uh, prepared his team so well uh, with the assistance of the likes of Achayo. Mm -hmm. And uh, they managed to unlock KCB. Uh, at uh, winning 29 uh, at um, at Burri, mm -hmm. so, so I think it was a good match, and it's a good match, and uh, the way they had prepared themselves uh, for that particular game, mm -hmm. and also the weather probably it affected the Nairobians, but I think uh, they played well and they, they won for the third time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, it was convincing for KCB. How did they match up? Because yeah, it's all about for them the rebuilding after past dominant years in the league. Oh yeah, you see now what what has happened when you look at the Cabras team, they have been in the final three years and uh, quite a number of those players have the experience of playing at the finals mm -hmm. and also coming in of uh, Carlos and bringing the new mm -hmm. uh, skills in the team uh, and also playing at home and uh, also playing un un unbeaten throughout the, the league. Mm -hmm. I think that's also a, a, a good um, a thing for, 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 for Cabra's team. Mm -hmm. And the way they had also bring in uh, Bar like Barry. Barry was the one who was playing scrum up and now he's playing 10. Mm -hmm. I think that that was good. And also having the guys who like Kevin Wekesa, the Kenya 7 guy, bring in uh, my Tanga, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of experience in the team. Though mm -hmm. KCB they had also the likes of Wanyala. Mm -hmm. But I think being in the final three years consecutive, I think this guy had a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. And it was also easy for them to, to, to execute that particular game in the final mm -hmm. and be able to unlock uh, 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 Olango's team. Yes. You see, uh, Curtis, Curtis had also yes. had experience and, uh, of playing at the finals. You saw the last yes. time at Nandi Hills how he was training and he came back and uh, won yes. that particular yeah. game. Yes. Yeah, so this time around, I think uh, Cabras, uh, the guys had matured and they had that experience of playing at the finals yes. and they were able to, to win that game. And despite the fact that they did it with a number of uh, key players on the on, on the injury list oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah uh, but the most important thing is how you f they've conditioned their players and how they are prepared for that particular game the mental structure of the game but, mm -hmm. and the mental structure normally is the uh, key when it comes to the game and when you look at the Nick Robertson now the the Reza who is the the, the national team uh, coach of uh, New Zealand mm -hmm. I think he was once a mental coach for the New Zealand and you mm -hmm. see how the New Zealand were, were playing mm -hmm. so once you have such a people and you prepare your players mm -hmm. they just mental structure for the finals mm -hmm. I think they'll be able to to execute and once they're in the same level mm -hmm. and that actually has been working well for the Cabras team. Yes and also yeah. maybe uh, going fully professional has really helped the club? Yeah yeah with a lot of uh, the, the Millers being yes. the, the main sponsor of yes. uh, the club you see now it also minimized because they be able to get the, the, the the right facilities for, for the training, uh, probably the remuneration also for the players is uh, it's on time and uh, they just focus on the game mm -hmm. and also having a, a very skillful coach. Mm -hmm. I think that, that also works well for Cabras. Yes, indeed. That's how it did end. And when next season, domestic-wise, what, what uh, do we now look forward to? So it is how it's simply how the teams will prepare themselves. Mm -hmm. We have the off season now from the Super Series. Now teams will go in for the sevens, and we have the off season. Mm -hmm. How teams will be able to prepare and how they be able to get some new players to boost their squad. I think that that will work on how they'll be able to condition the having the set up on the high performance centers. Mm -hmm. uh, you see now that will be able to uh, prepare the team. So if we have a team that will be able to boost its uh, club, you see in the previous we have the Impala who had won also three. Uh, three times consecutive, we have the Nontis, we have the Harlequins KCB also. So this time round, if this particular team, they can also go back and uh, the drawing board and see where they go wrong and how they can be able to boost their squad. Mm. It, it will be able to work well. But uh, so far, when you look at Cabras and KCB, they still have a dominant team. Though we also have the Oilers uh, mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. Nakuru. Mm -hmm. yeah, they've also been doing well. Mm -hmm. And remember, their coach also just got um, a level three coach mm -hmm. uh, in South Africa. These are some of the things I initiated when I was the development director, mm -hmm. where I said we cannot, have, um, we cannot be having uh, clubs in Kenya, Kenya mm -hmm. Cup, mm -hmm. with a uh, level one coach and level two coach. Mm -hmm. I said, no, these guys must have a uh, level three coach. And mm -hmm. it's working, you see, mm -hmm. some of these guys. You know, initially, we only, we only had uh, one level three coach in the country mm -hmm. because the other level three coaches were the guys, uh, 
you know, the data is there, but these guys are not in the country. Mm -hmm. So we wondered uh, what was happening at the union by then. Mm -hmm. So now we said, no, we want to have a, a list of these particular guys who are handling the clubs, mm -hmm. and they should be go to South Africa and mm -hmm. uh, train at level, level 3. And mm -hmm. that's why now we have the way we have another Mr. Olango, who's also level 3. Mm -hmm. also, I also suggested the likes of uh, Pau also mm -hmm. to take yes, over to Murunga, level yes. yeah, Paul yeah. Murunga, because uh -huh. an experience uh, should be able to enroll for a level 3 coach. Mm -hmm. All these clubs, if they're handled by the full coach, then that means our players are getting the, the, right, uh, the, the, the right skills mm -hmm. and they'll be able to do well. So the other clubs will also be able to come up. And uh, that's what I'm saying about Oilers also. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely next season, it might be able so to do well. To bounce back. Yeah. Yes, and uh, Shuja and Lioness's assignments, of course, all eyes on uh, whether they'll be able to get back to the uh, elite circuit. That's at this World well, 7 circuit and uh, that journey is ongoing in the Challenger Series. Montevideo wasn't uh, <laughs> good such a good outing for the yeah, ladies especially yeah, for the lioness yeah, uh, i think yes. they didn't amass and uh, good points mm -hmm. i think that was uh, disappointing but they can redeem themselves mm -hmm. uh, again in, um, in, in in poland in poland yes yeah so if they can be able to redeem themselves mm -hmm. i think that works well because when you look at the standing now we have china mm -hmm. uh, that has got uh, 34 mm -hmm. then uh, we have the belgium mm -hmm. that has got also uh, 28 28 points mm -hmm. our neighbors here uganda they yeah. are ahead of us yes. uh, which are uh, 20 eight points and then the lioness have 24 points but we also have poland and ireland with uh, 22 and 18. Mm -hmm. so if uh, they can be able to, to, uh, to secure probably 16 points then they'll be in the right position mm -hmm. uh, actually to be part top four yes. team to cross over to madrid and uh, be able to meet again the spring boxes when you look at the, the last uh, four also uh, in the hdp series that are going to meet them we also have the Brazil, we have 31 points. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we are now, that's position 9, position 10, we have Japan. Mm -hmm. Then we have South Africa, actually, that Kenya lost to uh, when they qualified for this particular series. Mm -hmm. Then we have Spain, the, the last log. Uh, when you look at Brazil, actually, they are, they are playing well. At Great Britain, I think they have escaped. Uh, so Brazil might uh, be in the last four. Mm -hmm. So uh, Paul Murunga and uh, Mwanja should be also be looking at the, the last four teams as they prepare to mm -hmm. execute mm -hmm. and qualify for Madrid because mm -hmm. it'll be very close. Mm -hmm. uh, you see now the Singapore Sevens is on third and fourth, but now the other one is coming on 18 and 19. Mm -hmm. And then they cross over to Madrid. It'll mm -hmm. be very close. Mm -hmm. But now the other teams will have gone out for the race and prepared for this particular promotion relegation mm -hmm. uh, tournament yes. in Madrid. Yes, and what, what kind of um, mental strength should uh, the Lionesses be in because they just uh, uh, point away, you know, yeah. they, they are close to the door. Yeah, they are close How to the door. How should they approach it? Yes. Uh, well, well, they should be able to know, first thing, these ladies should be able to know that uh, uh, when you look at the union, it, I think it has issues, especially with the sponsorship and all that. Mm -hmm. And even we've seen it, um, chairman mentioning it on the media. Mm -hmm. So what they're supposed to know is that uh, if they qualify for this, they need to prepare and uh, forget about all the other issues and focus on what Paul Murunga and Mwanja uh, are executing. So once they prepare themselves, I think their life will change if uh, they can be able to work out uh, that in Poland and qualify for Madrid mm -hmm. and make it to HSB series, uh, mm -hmm. their life will change. I think some of these issues they'll be able to forget. Mm -hmm. And I wish them well so that uh, once they qualify, I think it will be very okay for Lioness because quite a number of them, uh, their life will completely change. And even the smallest now will be able to, to come in, be, be fighting for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And yeah. the men's team as well also just on the edge, but they just need to move to finish among the top four. Yeah, to and they are uh, closely within the ranks. Yeah, w well, they are, they are, they are second in the log uh, because Uruguay has got uh, 36 points, mm -hmm. also Kenya has 36 points. Uh, they have Chile has got 32, Uruguay, Germany has got uh, 26. It's uh, unfortunate that uh, the, some of um, the, 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 those who have been playing in the series, we have the Japan and, uh, and Tonga. You mm -hmm. see now they, they, they are missing out, and I think it's a point because Japan has always been the seven series. Uh, but now what uh, these guys are supposed to do is just mm -hmm. to get enough points in uh, Munich mm -hmm. and then now they execute and move on to, Mad uh, to Madrid. Mm -hmm. But uh, they should also be able to look at uh, what's happening in Madrid because we have uh, Great Britain. Mm -hmm. I think USA, uh, USA is uh, kind of uh, escaping the, the relegation playoff match, but still it's not, it, they, are, they are not out of the hook. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you look at Great Britain, we have the Spain. Great Britain was at the final in LA7. Spain was also at the semi final in the LA7. Mm -hmm. Then we have Samoa. Samoa is a hard knock to, to crack. Mm -hmm. Then we have also Canada. We lost to Canada. Uh, we go, you got relegated because we are in the final in Canada. We yes. could have won that match. We could have been the HSP series. So uh, as much as uh, Blink, uh, sorry, the, co the coach yes. is looking at uh, Mbua, yes. uh, to qualify for Madrid, mm -hmm. she should also be looking at the last four teams that yes. are going to encounter in Madrid. Because if you are in the same pool with uh, either...
USA, if it comes down, or, uh, or Great Britain, mm -hmm. if you're in the same pool with Samoa. Samoa plays up to the last second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't play <laughs> the, last, the last second. That's how Samoa plays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if we be able to be with the two teams, mm -hmm. uh, probably in the same pool, uh, how do we come out of it? It's yeah. going to be very challenging. And uh, if you look at our guys, two guys or three guys have got the experience of the HP series. But the other guys, they are playing well. Uh, mm -hmm. They are playing well. But I think uh, we also looked at, uh, okay, uh, what are some of these players who, um, who yeah. are playing out, who yeah. are training with Blitbox in South Africa yeah. in the camp? Yeah. Uh, they are, uh, some of these former players, like uh, the likes of Olindi, how yeah. are they playing? I don't yeah. know. Uh, but if someone is monitoring their game, mm -hmm. I think uh, bring in some experienced players mm -hmm. who go and uh, counter these people. Because mm -hmm. when you look at the USA, when you look at Samoa, when you look at Spain, mm -hmm. Spain yeah, are semi-finals, yes. yeah, Great Britain are the finals in the late sevens. <coughs> uh, they are playing well. The USA also uh, coming down, look at Canada. How do we be, be able to execute this team? Uh, so it's something that uh, need to work out and prepare the boys in the mental light, mental structure as they cross over to Madrid. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, now make it back to the HSP series. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. and Bling has really uh, picked up well. You know, he began with, with a plum, with yeah. uh, get, get clinching the Olympic ticket. Yeah. What has been his uh, strong, uh, maybe, uh, departments in this particular team? Has he been able to assemble uh, a team that uh, can really get the results when he wants to? Yeah, I think w once the coaches did their work on sele with the selection of during the seven series, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. six, uh, the, the circuit, six, yes. the circuit seven yes. series, I think now he went to the camp and uh, built up these players and targeted with a few guys who remained who didn't uh, leave the sevens team. And um, from that, uh, you saw how they played during the, se the Safari Sevens, mm -hmm. uh, also how they uh, played in Dubai and won the Dubai series, and uh, also in Montevideo. They did play well, but uh, what was happening is that this guy was trying to bring in some new players so that I think when he goes to Munich, I mm -hmm. think now he'll be able to have a full squad mm -hmm. that will be able to um, win that particular, uh, and make it to the qualifying in Madrid. So uh, he has done well, w because when you look at the winning in, uh, in, in Dubai and also uh, winning the Safari Sevens, and also making the team to, assisting the team mm -hmm. uh, to qualify for the Olympics against the mighty uh, Springboks, yes. uh, Blitzboks, I think that was good for, for Blink. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think he's, he's been there. He's been there with the team and he's been assistant, and now this time he was given the, the chance no, yes. uh, to carry on with the Sevens team. Yes, yeah. indeed. That's the two assignments that remain for Shuja, uh, only one one more uh, chance to qualify to make it to the playoffs now let's wait and see if shuja and leonesses will indeed go all the way school games ongoing you know and uh, <laughs> interesting that the women's uh, we talked about um uh, with tyras here about the women's uh, championship you know the women's tournament or women's uh, games so that's the 50s which yeah. were debuting this yeah, yeah. time round yes yeah. and st joseph from Kitale. Kitale. yes yeah yeah it, yeah it won the tournament i think that that was good and uh, you see that's so some of the things we had uh, suggested when i was the director of development mm -hmm. and i said we need a feeder team for this particular uh, the, uh, the lioness team the lioness yeah. yes we we have a very successful uh, program uh, with the k triple sa for mm -hmm. the schools for the boys mm -hmm. but how comes we don't have the girls but you see now the issue was the issue of the budgeting mm -hmm. but i told we need to stamp it because kru mm -hmm. took over before this game started mm -hmm. it's the kru and the likes of uh, the professor muniafo and mm -hmm. uh, his group mm -hmm. now they are the guys who sacrificed and went on to schools and doing the refing and uh, managing the game mm -hmm. and the kru uh, stepped in to mm -hmm. to make to sponsor the the, 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 the tournament mm -hmm. you see now the secondary school picked it up mm -hmm. but now we also need now to have also the the girls we need to initiate this particular program mm -hmm. because when we initiate the program we have um, uh, good-minded uh, principals in their schools mm -hmm. like next year you'll be now to be able to see principals are going to prepare their teams to play because they have seen Kisumu yes. uh, which team is going to compete Kisumu girls yeah. which team is going to complete uh, St. Joseph's yeah. Western will not be left behind let me tell you next year mm -hmm. because they believe Butere girls and mm -hmm. the likes of Miss mm -hmm. they'll be able to come in and when you see Bungwe Buya around mm -hmm. Bungwe, they're yes. playing out of rugby Kakamega they're playing mm -hmm. out of rugby mm -hmm. so these RDOs will move in uh, we have the referee in Kaimos girls. Mm -hmm. You see now next year, mm -hmm. you might see Kaimos girls coming up to compete. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be very competitive. And that's now colleges will be able to get these players and when they go to universities now. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. universities have been getting um, well-prepared um, uh, players from high school. Yes. Uh, get um, fitting the university team. And you, that's why you see the university team have been doing well. Yes. Because mm -hmm. they are getting uh, well-prepared teams through their pathway program. Mm -hmm. So uh, come next year, it will be very good for, for, for the initiative. Mm -hmm. We, we had started this program, but you see now the COVID uh, stopped it. But mm -hmm. I was happy to see that now it was there in Machakos, yes. and you could see representation of uh, 
the teams across the country. Yes. So next next year it will be bigger. It will be big indeed. And the yeah. boys uh, final, you know, yeah. and uh, Fred was just telling us, uh, the, uh, you know, yeah. about the results. Yeah. In Machakos yeah, minutes yeah. ago, and uh, but oh. are relinquishing their, <laughs> their, their title to. Yeah. I say newcomer. Yeah, and, yeah newcomer. We yeah. have yeah. Uh, all Saints, all uh, Saints from yeah. Embu. Yes. Yeah. The, the, the ben was uh, been. Um, uh, we've met him uh, when I was coaching Murum Shiri and even went to East Africa yeah. to win. The St. Augustine's coach. Yes. Uh, all Saints coach. All Saints coach. Yeah, so. Ben. Yeah, he's a very, a very skillful uh, coach, and he was with Kangaru. Kangaru was doing mm -hmm. well, so mm -hmm. he crossed over and now. Kangaroo is went down. That's mm -hmm. why the problem with these schools, when mm -hmm. we have a technical guy mm -hmm. leaving, so the school just goes down immediately. Mm -hmm. But uh, the ground was, I think, uh, was also not good for the, the boys, mm -hmm. and there are so many knock-ons, and this is how these coaches are now supposed to do, and Kenya Rugby, you know, the put development. On, put on their word on yeah. how this game, well, what surfaces should be played. Right? Be played, and mm -hmm. also how can they play in such a, such a conditions? Mm -hmm. Because now I assume it's now the Kenyan schools now playing against the international. How could we be able to play in such a conditions? Mm -hmm. uh, you saw what happens with the Springboks in the semifinals yes. uh, uh, against England. Also, uh, yeah, against mm -hmm. Sinclair. Yes. So they came in and they were losing that much because of the, the weather condition. Mm -hmm. But because of the experience of the coach and the guys who are playing in Europe, I think they've secured the team. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, But the condition actually matters. So mm -hmm. in the final now, mm -hmm. they went and they were training during that condition because now they had to adapt. Because mm -hmm. now they say the weather in Paris had changed mm -hmm. and now they need to adapt on how to play in that particular condition. Mm -hmm. So uh, coaches now should be also be able to adopt in such a condition because when you look at what's happening in Machakos, it was rainy, the ground was Yes. Uh, a bit soaky. Yeah. yeah, so they could not handle the ball. When you look at the knock on statistics, mm -hmm. uh, it tells you on how terrible it was. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. When you're having around 30 yeah. uh, <laughs> knock ons in the end. Yeah, no, slippery. Not, not, not that's, flowing, that's, not a, yes. yeah, that's not a good final yes. when you're having 30. These are teams that have won the finals. But when you have around 30 mm -hmm. knock ons, mm -hmm. uh, that tells you we have a problem with ball handling. And uh, the coaches need to go and do a lot in terms of uh, development of the game, in, uh, coaching, uh, handling of the game, execution of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they need to go and uh, relook at it. Because those are the basics. Yeah, those are the basics. Because now these are the, these are the players who will be selected for the national team. Mm -hmm. um, are we ready now for them to play for the national team mm -hmm. if they knock the ball? The ball? Mm -hmm. Because as a national team, we need to have a finished, a pro yes. a finished, yes. a finished product. Yeah, proper, yeah, yeah, proper player. Uh, proper, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they need to go and look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the surfaces, I think, they should be able to look for alternatives, especially when they are hosting these particular matches. Yes. This ground is Proper unplayable. surfaces. Yeah, yes. you can be able to take to the other ground. Yeah, and uh, maybe quickly we can talk about uh, fr the franchise, the announcement uh, or the revelation of the names, you know, the Cheetahs, Buffaloes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this particular week. <laughs> well, you know, the return, we can talk about maybe briefly about the return of uh, the franchise and how well it is uh, for the 15th rugby. Well, well I, I think that that's the best thing that uh, Kenya Rugby Union have done uh, when you have the, the franchise. Because when you look at this particular team, just playing club rugby year in, year out, that's not helpful. But uh, once these particular players play in the franchise uh, teams, mm -hmm. I think they'll be able now to gain more skills and also playing against the new players and uh, it develops the other players. So uh, that works out well. And we've seen this particular team look at the Super Rugby in, um, uh, in, 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 uh, in New Zealand, in uh, uh, in Australia, when you look at South Africa, the mm -hmm. franchise, uh, the Sutomas, the Lions, uh, we have the Bulls, you mm -hmm. see the Sharks, how they play. You know, we have a, um, a region that has got more than 400 teams, mm -hmm. and this, these are teams that are feeding their players mm -hmm. into uh, one major team. Mm -hmm. So it works out well, and uh, it's good for Kenya Rugby Union mm -hmm. because the players will be able to get new experience, new get um, uh, good, uh, good uh, team format. And it works out well. Though, uh, mm -hmm. when you look at this particular team, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, same players from this particular region. Mm -hmm. Cabras will dominate. Yes. KCB teams, yeah. uh, KCB group will also it dominate. Dominate, yeah. yeah. But we also have the Gongrot uh, team, the likes of Imbala and Ondis. Mm -hmm. I think they also give them um, a good run for, 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 for that particular tournament. Yes, and of yeah. course, the names of uh, coaches who will handle the teams are out. The Buffaloes will be handled by Maxwell Adaka, mm -hmm. uh, while uh, the Cheetahs will be under Lawrence Buyachi, yeah. while Lions will have. Oliver Mangani as the head coach and Rhinos will be having Paul Murunga. Um, Malimu, I, yeah. I know we had so much to talk about but uh, due to time constraints here we'll have to maybe push some of the bit uh, which we could have talked about the international, oh. what's going on the international stage but let's leave that for the next time but okay. let's maybe just briefly yeah. uh, one minute or a few seconds on the disgruntled voices of the KRU. How is this uh, you know, holding down the operations of Kerry and wha wha where does the um, disgruntled, why the disgruntled voices? 
Uh, yeah, I saw it and during the AGM, I think uh, some of uh, the affiliates, you know, the affiliates was a big say when you go to KRU mm -hmm. uh, Constitution. And uh, when I was there, even at a time I was the vice chair, acting mm -hmm. vice chair of the Kenya Rugby Union mm -hmm. uh, because of uh, the issues of the constitution. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think two members were, two members, uh, were not satisfied with mm -hmm. how things are running. Mm -hmm. And that's why they sent for a motion of no confidence to mm -hmm. the chairman. Yes. But I think uh, we are yet to get actually what's the because it wasn't uh, discussed. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what is making also during the AGM quite a number of things. Strategic plan was not uh, discussed. Mm -hmm. uh, when we saw the issue of uh, the financial the statements, yes. uh, <laughs> uh, it was not part. People say it now. They go and want to get time to go and scrutinize it proper. Uh, especially the Bates Cup and uh, WGRT, mm -hmm. the, the Junior World Cup that yes. was here. Mm -hmm. uh, so they want to look. I think there, there's some specific uh, key areas that these guys have noticed and they want to go and uh, scrutinize it properly mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, they get satisfied and the KRU moves on. Mm -hmm. So that's the issue. And it's not good actually for the game because mm -hmm. now when you look at Kenya Rugby Union, yes. it's only seven that are being played now yeah. international. Yeah. But the rest uh, is a bit uh, dormant. So they need to uh, awake, awake, be awakened. Mm -hmm. uh, so once they, it's done, mm -hmm. I think now we move on because they need sponsor. I've seen uh, Tasca putting money in uh, athletics, putting yes. money in uh, Malikia. Yeah. We need that and, money and also at the know, union. <laughs> yeah, and, and rugby has never struggled to attract sponsors. You know, people, they, they've had goodwill for a long time, but yeah. you know, yeah, when it dries... Yeah, you see now, the, the issue when you look at the, they have negatives there at the union. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we need to have so that this particular program mm -hmm. can run. Mm -hmm. Players cannot be able, like the ladies, uh, the lionesses, mm -hmm. you are talking about six mm -hmm. months, seven mm -hmm. months. Yeah. So sponsors should, uh, they should not, I think this should be sorted out. Mm -hmm. Then we have sponsors, mm -hmm. then uh, programs runs up. World Cup is coming up for yeah. the women in 2025. Yes. Uh, these ladies are supposed to be put in the right condition, the right structure. Training should be able to start. They should be in training camp probably in South Africa for them to prepare for the World Cup. S some of these particular programs, these ladies join, mm -hmm. will be able to change their life and uh, issues of uh, sponsorship will not be able to arise. Yes. They will just attract sponsors if yes. they are doing well. Yes. Yeah. That's a uh, word from uh, Kikechi Kombo, Comras head coach and a former member of the Kenya Rugby Union Board. This is the touchline. Thank you so much, Malimu, for yeah. making your time. Thank Hope you to so see much. you again next time. Yeah, sure. And all the best as well in your teaching at Togo and also coaching comrades keep producing our future stars for Kenyan rugby the pipeline is endless right and too long so keep the pipeline flowing Thank meanwhile you. stand by for that particular it's a interview I'll be speaking to the roll ball guests and we're talking about uh, the season that has been uh, that's uh, the Kenya roll ball season 2023 2024 and I have the champions in the house stand by for that one and of course later on the fans on keep it the touchline